Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So this is the part two of the video series under parabola. So in the part one of this video, I showed you how to draw a parabola, which is what we are having here. So if you watch the part one and you are coming to the, uh, to the part two, I know what you are expecting now is how to draw a tangent to this parabola, like I said. But before we draw a tangent to a parabola, there's one thing we need to first of all find, and that is the focus. So if you don't know the focus of the um, parabola, there's no way we can go ahead and start drawing the tangent. So now what I want to show you is how to draw, or how to find, rather, how to find the focus and the directories of a parabola. So that's what this video is going to be showing you. So we are on this thing, we are going to be finding what our focus, focus is and where our directories is. So when we are done with finding the focus and the directories, then we can go ahead and draw the tangent and normal to the parabola. So before we go ahead, please, if you are here to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy, please take out time to click on subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. It won't cost you anything. Just click on it uh, because subscribing it to help this channel to grow. Please click on subscribe button and then on the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. All right. Thank you very much if you have just done that. So, so let me just call. Now, this point here. So, um, if you miss the part one, so let me just do a brief. This length here represents the uh, the the span which is 12 centimeter and here from A to D represent that's 6 centimeter that's the, that's the length that we use so I want to just make a change here this part, part that I call name E let me change it to V so let's call this point point V why we are calling it V is because this point represents the vertex the vertex so let's call this point the center of this line AB let's call it point um, let, us, let us call it O also then this line um, VO I would like to extend it to the top. So we are having something like this. So the next thing we are going to do in finding the focus of this uh, parabola is we are going to pick a point on this line VO. Now you can just pick it at any point, but I will always prefer that you know the length of the point that you are picking. So let me just pick it 4 cm from, or let me just pick it as 5 cm uh, from V. So let me just pick it as 5 centimeter from V. And I'll tell you why. So let me just pick this point. So this is at 5 centimeter from, from V. And let me call this point. Um, okay, so let's call this point E. Point E. So let me let the E to, to come down a bit. So let's call it this point, point E. The next thing is from this point E, you are going to draw a line that is perpendicular to VO. That means the line will come to the right, like this horizontal line. That is from point E. And the line, the length of that line will be twice of the length from V to E. So that's why I said you should also note the length. So if you look at it, from V to point E is 5 centimeter. So that means you are going to draw a line that is perpendicular to this line VE. That will be 10 centimeter. So let me just use my compass real quick to get the perpendicular line. So you can as well use your, um, so I use my protractor rather. So you can as well use your compass to get the perpendicular line. So I said it's going to be 10 centimeter. That is twice of VE. VE is 5, so then this one will be 10. So this is it. So let's call this point, uh, point F. What you are going to do now is to join this point F to point V. So just follow along. Now, if you look at this point F, where it is touching the parabola itself. So it is touching the parabola on this point. So on that point, this is where it is touching the parabola. So what we have to do now is to draw a line that will come and touch this line VE. A straight line. So make sure the line is straight. So let it, so this line. So where it is touching this line VE is represent our focus let's that's point f do we have f okay we already have f here so let me just change this to so let me just change this to, to g 
so because this is f our focus so now this is the focus so this is how you go ahead to find uh, the focus of a parabola now that we already know our focus the next thing is to find the directrix directrix so in doing that just bring your your compass use it to get the length of vf the length of vf so you can just place your compass directly on on your drawing and adjust it to the length of vf like this and then you use it to draw a semicircle so we have the semicircle now we are the semicircle is touching this line you should also note that point so from this point, what you are going to do is to draw a line that is perpendicular to this line. So that means you are going to be having a line this way. That line will represent the directrix. So in doing that, we can use our compass to get a, the perpendicular line. So we can use our compass or our protractor, but I will be using the protractor because I'm just trying to reduce the number of construction I'll be doing on this drawing. Because we are still going to be using this drawing to uh, to show you how to draw a tangent. So I don't want to have too many construction on it so that you won't get confused or it won't look rough. So okay, so it should be from this point. So from this point here, let's call it our point uh, point M. So from this point M, you are going to draw a line at 90 degrees. So I haven't gotten that. So this, so let's note the ninety degrees. So this line here, before we note it, this line here represents what the directrix, and this point here represent the focus. So this is how you go about to find the focus and directrix of a parabola. So just note the part that are ninety degrees. So here is ninety degrees. So it's important to note that then here is also at 90 degrees. So 90 degrees. So once you have see something like that, 90 degrees. So this is it on how to draw a focus and directrix um, of a parabola. So now we can go ahead and find uh, the tangent from a given point. So we are going to pick it, and that I'm going to do that in the uh, next part, which is going to be the part three of this uh, on that parabola. So how to draw uh, a tangent and a normal to a parabola. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, any comments, do leave them in the comment section below. The part 3 of this video will be coming up immediately after this video or you click, it will pop up here, somewhere here, and then once you click on it, it will take you to that video. i also leave a link to the part 1 and then the next part of this video which is showing you how to draw the tangent. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description of this video and also a link to other videos like how to draw a cycloid, epicycloid, hypocycloid, how to draw an hyperbola a hyperbola, how to draw helix, how to draw their tangents. I'm going to be leaving all the links in the description of this video. So with that now, let's go to the part 3 and go ahead and draw a tangent and a normal to this parabola, which is coming up here. So you can click here now, it will take you there.